Lots of ceremony as the Canadian Historical Aircraft Association Museum hangar officially opened at Windsor International Airport. 18 months ago, the association received a $719,000 grant to renovate one of the oldest hangars left. It wasn't easy. The hangar needed a fire suppression system, a new roof and a new wing to house its museum. But some of the old hangar is still evident, like the old wooden beams overhead. For association president Dennis Schreier, it's all very emotional. Well, you have to uh, realize that uh, what we do here at the hangar, it's not just, it's not a hobby, it's not something that we just do or put time into. It's, uh, it, it runs into our soul. It's a part of us. The hangar is historically significant because of the role it played starting in 1940, when thousands of young men learned to fly different aircraft for the battle during World War II. Back then, it housed Number 7 Elementary Flying Training School. On our Prime Minister's birthday, December 17, 1939, the British Commonwealth Air Training Plan was signed into existence with the Australians, the New Zealand, the Brits, and the Canadians formed this training plan. And this training plan, as we've heard, and I've got more specific data coming up later, but this training plan trained 210,000 people. This was the largest undertaking Canada had ever done, eclipsing building the Canadian Pacific Railway across the country to tie Canada together. It's hoped the hangar will become a destination for aviation buffs across North America. Adele Boisel, Blackburn News.